Hello and welcome to the Gorilla Biker. And today what we're going to be talking about is me trying to turn off my car though, right now. No, not really. Uh, we're going to be talking about, um, you know, riding distance. Now, I've spoken about this before a long, a long time ago. You know, about the journey or the destination. And this is kind of similar, but also not. Um, it's just kind of funny because um, I was recently invited once again onto the Five Dirty Bikers podcast, which was awesome, an honor. Thank you guys again for having me on. Uh, I always enjoy talking to that group. Um, and, you know, I'm a fan of their podcast, so it's always nice to be invited. You know, it's always, it's always very, very nice, very appreciated. But anyway, so... You know, one of the things that came up is the fact that now that I live over here, are, are, you know, riding roads here, you know, better, or is the riding better here in, in Ireland? And, you know, I kind of, it's, it's, I, I answer the question, obviously, but it spurred me to think it afterwards, because it's an interesting one. You know, a lot of the guys um, and girls on 530 Bikers, they live in, in, in states that are vast, you know, vast flatlands and don't have too many twisties that are, quickly accessible or whatever else and, and, and I am now in the same uh, boat quickly accessible from an Irish perspective you know if you have to ride an hour to get to somewhere nice in Ireland a lot of people would balk at that you know they want to be they want to be 15 minutes from the niceness they don't want to do the, the, the suffering of the suck and the suck being roads like this you know these these suck they factually suck to ride on uh, they're boring there's lots of areas where a car could pull out on you. They just overall are not a not a great place to ride. Not somewhere that you you know you're actively going to 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 go to to ride. I think I'm getting a phone call from work, but I can't answer that right now. Um, sorry guys, my car was turned off. I cannot help you. But I also want them to stop calling so I can you know show you my screen or face forward again. There we go. Um, you know, roads like this are are, are bad. Um, they're not. They're just not fun. And that's kind of something that you know really really spurred me to think like, what actually is better? You know, Ireland obviously clustered tightly. There are so so many great roads to ride on, like absolutely superb roads to ride on. The problem is Ireland is getting more and more populated, and you know the spaces where you can kind of be a little bit looser with watching your speed and, and properly having fun they're getting fewer and far between which is a massive pity in my opinion i'm watching you bolt yeah um and i'm watching you too red car behind the bush i see you yeah i saw you um you know the 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 the, the opportunities to to really just kind of go and have fun are, are shrinking and because motorcycling isn't really part of the culture over there in ireland um the, the general culture would say it's it's also becoming kind of more not not that it is more regulated more strict or whatever else but there's already kind of a a feeling of you know people aren't huge fans of motorcycling in ireland so it kind of does help over here that it's it's a more common thing more people do it uh, more people do it and you know it is it is what it is you know so it's just one of those things that you kind of have to have to roll with. Whereas over here, you know, people are people are actually kind of like when when you ride to work, they're like, "Oh, you rode in today, nice or whatever." You know, they they appreciate the fact that you're using your motorcycle a lot more. Um, whereas you know, people look at you in Ireland like you have two heads if you use your bike, or whatever else. So it's just like I said, it's just one of those things that is very very different. Uh, it is definitely seen as a huge kind of a hobby here, whereas in Ireland, a lot of motorcyclists see a bike as it is. It is a primary mode of transport if you want it to be. Is it as practical as a car and all that stuff? No. But it is. It is. There's. There's definitely that mix of their toys here uh, more so than they are in Ireland. And I think that might just be a, a general wealth thing too. You know, I think people have more spare cash here than they do in Ireland. But I digress. So, you know, like I said, it put me to thinking. You know, what actually is better? Is it better to have? The option of all the mountains that exist here and all the areas of Tisty Roads and the lakes and and the coasts and, and the you know the, the likes of Hatters even though the, the that the outer banks are quite straight and dull it's still a, a, an experience to go out there and one I do want to do on the bike as well um, so it's it's very much like a 
idea is it better to live somewhere where I can jump on the bike and I can go on a week long holiday without any water crossings or a two week holiday just riding my bike without any water crossings or is it better to um, you know be in Ireland where if you want to go to Europe you can go to Europe but it is multiple water crossings or one really long water crossing which they, they suck by the way and this is why I say I actually think they're much of the same you know and, and like I said a lot of people have asked me this they're like hey what you know what's better do you do you regret moving there do you miss the riding in Ireland uh, and the answer is is no I don't regret moving here but I do of course miss the riding in Ireland because you know I could have left my house in Ireland and I could ride out to Kells and the ride out to, to Kells in Kilkenny was a great ride every time it's a really nice road there's really nice views at the end uh, there was coffee and ice cream at the end if you wanted it and then you could ride back and you could make it into a 20 minute ride or an hour long ride or however really long uh, that you that you actually wanted it to be uh, which obviously is is a difference right it makes a difference being able to do that whereas here there is a lot of what we will call the suck this being the suck just Okay, yeah, it's pretty and it's an absolutely beautiful day, so I really can't complain much, but it is... It's kind of a boring-ass road, you know what I mean? I don't even really like making videos on these roads, but I am commuting, and this, this makes a point. If I was to ride this, and there was five minutes of good twisties at the end of it, I would ride it every day, and I would have no problem with that, because it is 100% worth it, in my opinion. To trade quite a lot of boring to get to really really fun i'm gonna have to hold my breath here that's a lot of smoke <laughs> okay i don't think i inhaled any of it ah i still taste it mm. um yeah we'll go here four minutes slower i'll take that this road sucks um, you know that and that's kind of you know what the particularly the the people living up around Nebraska and uh, Ryan who lives in North Dakota kid Moto. you know Nebraska North Dakota number one they're cold uh, they're kind of sucky a lot of the time weather wise so it's not like here where it's weather is fantastic most of the time I mean even when it's cold it just rains so little here it is incredible um, but they have a lot of roads like this which are just not what a biker wants to see you know if you have a motorcycle you don't come looking for a road like this even if there is a nice lake there you know you just you just don't it's not like yeah yeah i rode a nice straight road today with like one or two elevation changes that total of about two meters it's just not something you chase it's not something you tell tell stories about it's not something you bring your friends to see but that said if I was to ride six hours and ride all around the Appalachians and all that and the Smokies or whatever they're called, it's the Appalachian Mountain Ridge, Smoky Mountains over there. Anyway, I'm not sure. I, uh, I'm not a ge geographist. Uh, over near Asheville in North Carolina, the western side of the state. I am not far from there. You can get over there on a Friday evening, spend all of Saturday up on the mountain roads and ride back on a Sunday uh, in the summer. You wouldn't want to do it in the winter. But in the summer, you could do that. So you end up spending two nights there, which is, it's not going to break the bank. You have an absolutely fantastic time. You make a load of memories. Nobody remembers the terrible roads. That's what I'm trying to get to in my very poor way of speaking, because I'm not good at English. I would have never been a poet or a writer. <laughs> but nobody ever tells their friends about the bad roads. Nobody ever tells their friends about the 10-hour slog they did to get to the mountains in northern Italy you know what I mean no one talks about that they talk about the mountains in northern Italy they talk about this fantastic holiday they had and how amazing it was you know when I tell people about the Scotland trip I did on the CBF I don't I don't really tell anyone about the wheel bearing blowing up we don't talk about you know how one of my friends had issues on his bike we don't talk about the rain we don't talk about the, the, the average speed cameras I did in the video but that's different but when I talk to people now about Scotland I'm like Scotland was incredible uh, you should absolutely ride a bike there because the highlights make the I'm not even going to call them lowlights I'm just going to call them the common stuff the boring stuff they make it they make it all worth it you know what I mean and that's that's the important bit that's the key so what's better Neither. They're both great. Ireland's great. 
over here is so far great and I really look forward to riding more of the stuff over here. I've only been here for like, what, seven months and maybe four or five months with bikes. Now only a couple of months of this one and this is my bike. So, you know, it's, it's like I have years, years of going finding nice riding areas in front of me and I can't, absolutely cannot wait to do it. Um, so, you know, I think that's the thing people should focus on especially people who've never been on big big bike trips it's like you know set your target for the the, the the class bits and it's kind of a role reversal that's the one change from ireland is you know in ireland it's like is it the journey or the destination it's both i mean you could be going somewhere but honestly i would have happily jumped on my bike and just ridden in circles in ireland because you know you're going to hit nice twisty roads I really don't care where I end up and I really don't care where I go because it's just gonna be it's gonna be a blast no matter what and that's that's the important bit you know it's like well it, you know do you have fun enough to make you forget the crappy bits if you don't that's something to look at you know and I'm like for instance there's one guy who I do occasionally watch his name is million dollar bogan I'm sure a lot of you a lot of you watch his channel I am not saying I'm a huge fan of like how dramatic he is sometimes, but the thing is, the dude, he shows that, you know, he, he goes through all this hassle and this turmoil, but it makes it worth it for the, the really nice bits that he gets, you know? Whenever he puts up the drone, everyone knows, oh, this, this, this bit's gonna be, this kind of bit's gonna be a little bit special, it's gonna be a little bit beautiful. Um, and that's kind of, I think, what we're all, we're all looking for, you know? This looks like the stones. Yeah, there are stones over there, but I'm okay. But he has a way of creating videos in that, you know, you get to the point you're like, whoa, look at where he was. That's incredible, I want to do that. You don't remember the rest where you're like seeing him being rained on and dropping the bike and crying and being miserable. You're like, ah, none of that matters. I want to be there and I want to be there on my bike. That's kind of what I'm trying to say is that, yes, a lot of us might live in places that most of the time the roads are kind of sucky. But I think once you're somewhere that you can reach the good stuff within a reasonable amount of time, none of that matters. It all falls away. It all fades into the ether. It, 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 it doesn't... It, it's just not important because the cool bits with your friends, the bits that you're going to talk about again, the bits that are like, oh yeah, I remember that and I'm going to tell all my other bike friends and I'm going to tell people they should come here. That's what you remember. That's what's important. That's what sits with you for a long, long, long time. And again, that could just be me, but that's how I feel about it. And yeah, I know this this video didn't really have a defined particular topic. It's just that that spurred that in my head. It's like, I actually sat down today and I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know what, actually, what do I prefer? And honestly, what excites me more is the fact that I have the opportunity to ride new places that I haven't ridden before. That really genuinely does, um, you know, excite me. It makes me, it makes me really look forward to, to getting out on the bike and, and seeing those places. Oh, this looks like not a bad corner. Let's take it a, a saucy. Oh, oh yeah. That was a saucy one. Um, you know, it's just it's just something that definitely does, it does excite me more than, than seeing places I've already seen in Ireland, whatever else. You know, I was always really excited to go to Scotland, go to Wales. I would have loved to ride to Spain on my bike while I lived in Ireland. Um, look, I'm sure I'll live somewhere around there again. If, if it's not in Ireland, it'll be somewhere near it. Um, so I'll definitely get the chance to, to, to ride in Spain, France, I'll go back to Germany, absolutely. I want to do Norway, I want to do all these places, um, but right now I have the entire continent of North America to ride on. And I also have the entire continent of South America to ride on at some point, and Canada. You know, there's so many places I can reach in a reasonable amount of time here. And all that suck, all that really poor roads that just are boring and you don't want to be on they all fall away to nothing they're not important um they fade into the background they're not what you're concerned about and i think that's a pretty cool thing and i i, I only know that bikes do that for me uh cars have never done it for me it's just they're not they don't they don't work the same in my brain um so yeah that's my very long-winded discussion on you know the new journey or the destination over here i certainly i certainly still love the journey 
um you know i'll try and make a journey as interesting as possible i could have done this trip home in uh on a pretty much a, a dead straight highway that has like two turns off it and then i'd be home however i decided to go this way because i get to go through this little town here there are some okay back roads there's nothing amazing there's nothing that i'm going to write home about but it's still it's more interesting you know it's just something that it changes it changes what your mind's looking at and that always that always makes me feel happy plus it is like i said an absolutely beautiful day so you I mean you can't really go wrong so i think the key thing is you know is the suck worth it it absolutely is if the end goal is is where you want to get to you know if you want to go ride mountains for two days you go ride mountains for two days even if it means five days total of riding on really crappy roads it it absolutely is worth it and I don't think you'll realize that until you do it yourself. So get out there, ride your bike, you know, don't worry about anything else. If you're looking at buying that new screen or whatever else, save the money, go on a trip. You know, build memories on your bike. I guarantee you that's what you'll remember. Um, it really does say a lot that you see so many bikes being sold at like less than 10,000 miles or whatever else. Get out there and enjoy them make some friends you know if, if if there are no bike friends then make some bike friends get people on bikes the more people on bikes there are the better bikes will be and we won't have like a lot of you know as many people in cars being miserable and trying to kill us uh yeah so that's that's my very long slightly too philosophical answer i apologize if i got a bit philosophical philosoph i can't even say it but yeah if you watched thank you very much for watching especially if you've gotten this far i really do appreciate your time uh listening to me ramble as always a very special thank you to all of my patrons um and like someone asked me recently actually on on the patron stuff is like you know would you make more videos if you know you had more patrons or whatever else honestly no um i make videos when and when i can uh because i like making them um patron and money has never been a driving factor for me ever um it's 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 sure it's nice that my patrons have definitely helped me buy some stuff for bikes in the past um and i'm sure they will again in the future there are an absolutely great bunch there but at no point has it ever been a driving factor for me you know if i lost patrons because they couldn't afford anymore or they just didn't like my face anymore that has never ever once made me think like hey you know what i don't want to make as many videos now because that's made me sad that's not like i said money just has never been a motivator for me doing this um so i appreciate the question but no uh if i had zero patrons i would still make videos until i didn't want to anymore for whatever reason that might be but it wouldn't be money um and yeah thanks again adios outro crew are you jealous of this sunshine I have? I absolutely am loving this. I, I mean, I can, I can 100% understand why people own cruisers in America because these type of roads, you know, just on a twin like this, because this is buttery smooth twin wise, but in a, in a, in a big couch of a bike, just, just chilling. I completely understand the appeal. It's it would be super nice this is a nice corner actually let's speed up a little bit through it yeah this bike grips really well on these anarchy threes but yeah are you jealous of my weather and whatnot um or what the weather what is the weather like near you now uh have you ever been to north carolina would you ever come to north carolina let me know and if you ever do come to north carolina on a bike definitely let me know i want to ride i want to ride with you all right bye outro crew and thanks